Instead of working for the people, he was working for himself. Instead of empowering people, he was empowering himself. The only legacy Oshomole gave to this state is that he was able to provide students in politics and students of political science research materials on the nemesis of bad governance, <laughs> propaganda, and failed promises. Addressing newsmen at the PDP secretariat in Benin City, Edo State Chairman of the party, Chief Dan Obi, said they decided to appraise the performance of the outgone governor of Edo State, Comrade Adam Sushamale, to ascertain if the state was better off than he met it. Chief Obi alleged that Adam Sushamale left hardship, unemployment, poverty, and unpaid salaries of judiciary staff, among other things. Assumed office about eight years ago with so much promise and expectations. But at the end of his tenure, he visited on the people of this state stories of disappointment, frustration, and hardship. He defrauded the state and threw the state into debt. I want to state very clearly that Adam Sochomole left Edo State poorer, far poorer than he met it. Chief Obi also alleged that the immediate past governor of Edo State left huge debt to the tune of over 300 billion naira after he has received over 1 trillion naira. Adding that, the project does not commensurate with the money received. Why he awarded a contract for the building of the central hospital here in Benin City that took almost eight years to complete. And at completion, for the president to commission that hospital, he had to remove the equipment from the Stella Obasanjo Hospital and kept them at the so-called five-star hospital to enable the president to commission it. In fact, it was a sad day for Edo people. The truth must come out and it will not take too long. Let me use this opportunity to commend and salute the courage of the leaders and members of Edo State Civil Societies who have since presented a well-articulated petition to the EFCC for them to commence investigation, arrest of the ex-governor of Edo State, Comrade Adams Aliu Eric Oshumole. Also speaking, the PDP governorship candidates in the September 28, 2016 governorship election, Pastor Saige Izeyamu said, contrary to rumor that the PDP state chairman Chief Dan Obi sold out during the election, the chairman and the party recorded victory and assured that the mandate will be recovered. We will not betray the mandate of a new people. It's even beyond PDP. If PDP is to do so, I'm telling you that you will be in trouble with the two people. It's not only PDP members that voted for us. So many two people who have never voted before for our sake came out of us. So we cannot betray them. And we uh, want to assure you that we will follow that matter to its logical conclusion. High point of the briefing was when a vote of implicit confidence was passed on the PDP chairman, Chief Dan Obi, by the members. Best Mbire. Reporting.